after the sweet bluesy taste of hyacinth house we're going to move on to the next track which is crawling king snake isn't there uh oh no that's a milk snake and a coral snake never mind i was gonna <laughs> do the red is dead yellow you fellow i don't remember the whole rhyme that's why i'd probably get killed in the wild <laughs> If I came across the snakes, I would definitely uh, be killed in the wild. But hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, as always, for being here. Uh, Crawling King Snake. You know, part of me has always thought, well, I think that snakes are cool. I would say my favorite snake is the Boom Slang. Isn't it called the Boom Slang? It's that little green one. That thing's so cute. Um, <laughs> but they seem like kind of boring pets to have. Maybe that's just me. They could be the most exciting thing, uh, you know, owned. But I don't know. They don't look like they do much. Uh, Crawling King Snake. Hey. Go ahead and get into it. Ba boom. <laughs>
use the crawling king snake. Let me tell you, the blues, when it comes to the blues, it's like eggs. You know, everyone's doing it a different way. Everyone's cooking it up the way you want. You can take them and scramble them. You can poach them. You can put them sunny side up, but it's still eggs at its core. So when I'm hearing bands like The Doors or completely different side Black Sabbath, yeah, they're different sides. They're cooking their eggs a different way, but it's all eggs. It's all protein at the core of it. So when the doors do their kind of dirty, low, low to the ground, <laughs> uh, psychedelic band, brand of blues, it's always exciting. It's always engaging to listen to. On this track especially, I found the most interesting melodies in the guitars because you have uh, Jerry. No, I'm sorry, not Jerry. Mark Benno on rhythm guitar, and then of course Krieger on lead guitar here. And the way that they're playing, of course, thinking about a snake, is very like kind of sneaky, kind of slithery. It's very stop-start, kind of frantic, but quietly frantic, a little static, slow-moving, but once it's upon you, all of a sudden it's, it's, it's eating you. <laughs> it's eating you. Remember Anaconda and when it was trying to eat Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez? Remember? Like, it's like that. It's got you wrapped up and it's coming down for a snap. But the way that their guitar approaches each other, one another, and complements each other, but then begins to, be, to progress. So in the first verse, the guitars, like I said, really are kind of static, very slow moving. It's uh, 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 kind of creaky a little bit with little quick picks of blues guitar. But then as we move into the second verse and eventually forward, especially from Krieger, that bluesy kind of guitar comes out and becomes a little more filled and alive. So it's like the snake is on the move now, not, not only quietly slithering forward, but in pursuit of prey. And I just think that that's really cool the way that the guitar evolves through here. Uh, you also have to give a little bit of credit to Ray because of the way that he plays the piano as well, starting very almost motionless. But before you know it, he's upon you with a nice little solo there uh, in the end. And of course, Densmore is just uh, fantastic to listen to his drumming because it's simple in approach, but masterful in... Um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I had it coming. Uh, masterful in its... Let's just go with composition. <laughs> I had a word I was going to use, and that wasn't it. So it didn't sound as good as I wanted it to be. But yeah, it works nonetheless. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to Morrison, he's just saying he's a king snake crawling. He's going to keep on crawling. He rules his den. You don't mess around with his mate because he's going to use her for himself. Caught me crawling, baby. Window grass is very high. Keep on crawling until the day I die. Crawling king said, and I rule my den. You better give me what I want. Gonna crawl no more. Do snakes technically crawl? Like, I, I kind of always thought that if you're crawling, you need some sort of legs. You need a little pitter-patter in your step. You, Like, snakes slither. I've never heard a snake described as crawling. Uh, maybe I'm looking too far into it. Uh, come on, crawl. Come on, crawl. Get on out there on your hands and knees, baby. Crawl all over me. Just like a spider on the wall. Are we gonna crawl one more? Well, I mean, I don't think that there's much subtlety on this one. So, you know, it's just... It's just uh, just crawling around, just crawling around. Uh, looking at this track, it looks like this is actually um, a cover. Actually, it says, Crawling King Snake is a blues song that has been recorded by numerous blues and other artists. It is believed to have, to have originated as a Delta Dues. <laughs> Delta Dues. It is believed to have originated as a Delta Blues in the 1920s and be related to earlier songs such as Black Snake Blues, by Victoria Spivey and Black Snake Moan by Blind Lemon Jefferson. Wasn't Black Snake Moan a movie with Samuel L. Jackson and, hold on, hold on, Kristen Ricci? I think. I, I believe so. Never saw it. Um, so, yeah, good song. <laughs> let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. We are almost finished with this album. We got, I think, one more song to go, actually. The Wasp, Texas Radio, and The Big Beat. All right, because we already did Riders on the Storm years ago. And I know that song already, so I'm not going to recover it. Um, oh, one more. The Wasp. Wasp are evil. We'll talk about that later. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs>